There are two reasons you might want to consider the switch to an e-mountain bike. One being the option that you can ride more trails and two, the technology that they now offer. Now, as much as the marketing slogans for mountain biking might be a little far-fetched, some of the e-mountain bike ones are a little bit closer to the truth. We see things such as, it's you, only faster. Four times you, cycling, but better. Better rides and the future is now. And I agree with a lot of them, and this is why. It's all so much more advanced than it was just five years ago. Take batteries, for example. Units these days, 900 watt hours of power versus that 500 watt hours of just a few years ago. Range anxiety is definitely something of the past. Now, something that I promise you when it comes to e-mountain biking is the ability to ride more trails in a set amount of time, be that a quick power hour or a full day out in the hills. And you can pretty much ride double the amount of trails that you can on a mountain bike, on an e-mountain bike, in just half the time. So for instance, that ride that takes four hours will probably only take you about two on your EMTB. The e-mountain bike is a perfect tool for adventuring, be that climbing up a mountain, winching your way up, or a multi-day trek covering loads of miles. Due to it being slightly heavier, they are more stable and faster on downhill sections too. Now this in turn will give you loads of confidence in your riding. But you've probably heard a lot of these things mentioned before, but what about the amazing technology that is now moving e-mountain biking forward at a crazy pace? Yep, e-bikes are currently where most people's mindsets are at, be that bike manufacturers, brand managers, motor manufacturers, car brands, app developers. We're seeing some cutting edge tech these days, things such as ABS braking from Bosch. Now that's only available on e-bikes currently, and this allows you to stay in control of your bike at all times, no matter the conditions, letting that rider stay more neutral on the bike and in turn, enhancing the whole ride experience. We see automatic shifting from Shimano. Now the motor will auto select gears for you, much the same as an automatic gearbox in a car. Then there's the displays, the controls, and all the related apps, and the information that they provide you with is simply mind-blowing. And then, then there's the option to connect your phone to your bike, and the stuff that you can do in there is absolutely mind-blowing. And what about fitness then? Well, bikes and the likes of Specialized and bikes that have the motors from Bosch all have the feature which will allow you to actually target certain heart rate zones on your bike and make sure you stay within them for the entirety of your ride. Say for instance, you wanted to hit 150 beats per minute out on your trail ride, you can set that into the system and the bike will add or drop the assist as to your heart rate. So if you're not working hard enough, the motor will drop the assistance and in turn raise your heart rate. Or if you're working too hard, the bike offers you more assistance and gives your heart a break. Crazy. Now, trails that were once off of your radar on your mountain bike now become commonplace on your e-mountain bike. There's gonna be no need to carry or push your bike anywhere, and you're not gonna need any chairlifts or uplifts. And linked to this, you're not gonna be sat in any stinky vans or waiting in queues for uplifts or chairlifts. You're gonna save cash and be spending 100% of your time on your bike. E-bikes are way more sociable than mountain bikes and they allow you to chat with your friends on the climbs instead of gasping for air whilst you're all riding at the same pace. 60 years old, 16 years old, fit or unfit, your brother, your mother or your gran all can join you now for your rides. E-bikes are a definite leveler. More than that, you don't have to exhaust yourself riding an e-mountain bike. Mountain biking, if you're doing that back to back, can definitely be super exhausting. With an e-mountain bike, it's gonna allow you to cover the same distance with a little less effort, meaning back to back days are the absolute dream when it comes to e-mountain bikes. There's also no need for a set agenda when it comes to an e-mountain bike. It is the ultimate tool for adventure. It will allow you to roam free with no route planned, without getting lost, and the ability to conquer absolutely anything that stands in your way. And finally, your e-mountain bike is a perfect tool for getting out there to inspire you to ride all year round. If you were to have a mountain bike, that would probably see you sat at home in a blanket, thinking and dreaming of getting out there riding. But with an e-mountain bike, it all becomes reality. It's a perfect tool for getting out there in the mud and slop and having a load of fun and keeping a smile on your face. So back to those slogans that we talked about earlier on in the video. It definitely becomes more apparent when you compare an e-mountain bike to a mountain bike. 
The technology is constantly evolving. It isn't moving at a snail's pace. And snail pace doesn't even come into the vocabulary when it comes to e-mountain bikes. You've got more tech, you've got more smiles per mile, way more fun. It's kind of like mountain biking, but better. So there you go, a bunch of reasons that you should definitely make the switch to e-mountain biking from mountain biking. Let us know down in the comments box about why you changed to an e-mountain bike. What were you sick of in mountain biking? Love to hear that. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN to make sure you're not missing out on videos. And whilst you're there subscribing, get into the merch shop. We've got loads of new kit and you can look as cool as me out on the trails. Get in there.